Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And the pendulum keeps on swinging. Remember the uh, quote unquote woke Eminem spokes candy debacle from last year? Yes. Yeah, well, they're walking it back. They're getting rid of the candy already. But they can get, they can walk it back. But then they're like, they're like, this is just dumb. I'm sorry. They're so, taking it way too far. Uh, yeah, apparently they were going to take all those new new uh new inclusive m&ms and they were going to throw them on a package supporting women and flipping the status quo uh and it did Wait, not that's what they said on their package yeah supporting women flipping the status quo oh. and the backlash was so severe that they're pausing using the cartoon characters entirely which i think is really stupid i mean okay look people are just like can we just have the characters and not make it all about identity politics like we used to, where the characters are just fun and they each represent a different flavor of candy. No, 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 no. And you know what they're gonna replace it with? Do you wanna know what they're gonna replace it with? They're gonna replace it with Maya Rudolph, which was, I, 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 I don't even have words. So yeah, we're gonna talk about this. I have to wonder if their uh, marketing person got fired or something. But that's I mean, the, I mean the One candy. year. One year of this. The candy characters are important. Now they're pausing and not getting rid of them entirely. They're probably waiting until it dies down and then bring it back out again. But the candy characters are iconic to m and The commercials were on for years. Everybody loves them. There's merchandise out the wazoo. The candy characters are important. So they're going to get rid of the candy characters for Maya Rudolph. For Maya Rudolph. Yes, the quote unquote woke. See, they do it too. Quote unquote woke on TMZ. Right, because that's what they're calling it. But still. I mean, Spokes Candies, the purple one was ridiculous. And then the whole thing about just making them the purple, brown, and green for living the status quo was stupid. Let's let's talk about this. It's Mardi Gras colors. I, you know? I'm telling you, the pendulum is swinging back it hard. Lots of beads on. <laughs> Stick those beads up your... No, 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 you get beads when you flash your boobs. So they have lots of beads on because they're, you know, they're, they're, they're using their agency. They're getting that bling. That that would be women supporting women. I, I thought you said anal beads. No, they're Mardi Gras beads. I, I thought said you Mardi said Gras. okay, but I thought you said anal beads, and How I'm did like, you get that. Uh, doesn't melt in your hand, but they'll probably <laughs> melt up your ass. Um, I don't know. You got that from Mardi Gras and beads. <laughs> the milk chocolate. Do you want to tell us all something? <clears throat> Is this a Freudian thing? Melts in your ass, not in your hand. <laughs> All right, so let's let's talk let's talk about this uh, ass ass of a campaign. We called it out last year. Everybody called out. They thought it was stupid. They got rid of greens. Go go boots. Uh, they brought in the um, purple M M&M, M, which is supposed to be the most inclusive, diverse M M&M. M. They were thinking was is it like a trans M M&M? M. Like what is sharing M M&M, M? Like all about feelings and because all that. Because it's a female M M&M M with a nut inside. So they're like, what's this mean? <laughs> I know, I you know, know, I, I, that, but we, we no, that out. but no, and other people were calling out too. <laughs> like, like, like that's that's kind of insulting, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> oh seriously. God. So this is the marketing person, right? They talked about it last year. So the M&M's brand is on a mission to use the power of fun to create purposeful connections as we work to create a world where everyone feels I like they belong. Fucking M&M's. I don't care. I mean, I mean, I I feel like I belong. Wait. But if you want people to eat your candy, is that like, is, that, is this like an anti-body shaming thing? Because, you know, you're going to get fat if you eat the candy and I, you just still belong. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so this is Gabrielle Wesley. That's her oh. fault. Chief marketing officer from Mars Wrigley. Oh. I have to wonder if she still is. When are they doing this? For Women's Month. When was For it? Women's Month. Yeah. So they got supporting supporting women flipping the status okay. quo. Wait, wait. So, Man hating M and Wait, wait, wait. So they were gonna do this 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 year, right? Yes. Okay, okay. So let me back up us. So they were gonna do it this year. It's, it's already this pack is on sale, but they're not gonna they're not gonna do the. There is so much backlash from this that yes. they're not doing the characters yes. anymore. Yes. This, yes. not the purple M and M, not the green M and M. They're claiming, even though everybody had a shit fit about those. Even women were mad about the green M and M because they're like, why can't she, you know, wear the heels and be sexy? What the hell is the problem? So the, all that stuff that, you know, they made them all different personalities and one has an anxiety disorder now that all that, you know, no, no, that didn't stop it. But this package stopped it. Yes. Because it was so ridiculous that people were just like, yeah, we're done. But what about, what about like the white Skittles and all the other, the wait, other wait, ones wait, are on clearance all the time? Then is M&M's, are they Mars, Wrigley, are they blaming women for their campaign failure? Because... You well, guys, it was a woman that was in charge of the marketing, so like, yeah. But I'm like, listen, like the female characters, because everybody was mad about this stuff before, 
right? Yes. And they didn't stop it then. Right. And there was a lot more backlash over that than this package. So then when this package comes, they're finally like, okay, we're just they're going to use this as as the what what caused it to be stopped. Yes, and they're that's so you're blaming women. They're blaming Fox News. They're blaming Fox News. Blaming. Are they blaming women. Fox News? Yes. The packs. <laughs> The packs come in three options, these uh, diverse women supporting M&Ms. Uh, milk, chocolate, peanut butter, and peanut. Mars said that a portion of profits, see, this is the problem, a portion of profits will go to organizations that are uplifting and empowering women, including the She Is the Music and We Are Moving the Needle nonprofit organizations that support women in the music industry. And that's what they did, that, that really cringy music done, video. Remember? Yeah, with the, yeah. But they've done all kinds of things before, like other companies with the, where they give money to, like, you know, different charities and things the all-female pack quickly sparked culture wars outrage on right-wing news networks i didn't even hear about it i now. didn't hear about it until now uh one fox anchor said the feminist ford pack emboldens how does china. it bolden china emboldens china so this is this is how it began and this is where we're at right now i just can't wrap my head around it. so all the backlash from everyone over yes. the change to the characters before over the new stupid spokes candy purple m m all of that, none of that mattered. But because Fox News was mad about how the candy emboldens China, they're going to stop making all the candy and blame it on women. I think that's a scapegoat. I think so too. That's the, what I'm saying. The only thing, the only thing that moves the needle is money. And I yes. have to wonder if people stopped buying M&M's. And they're blaming it on this and they're the trying sales to, were down. because of misogyny. Yeah. People stopped buying it because they're like, I don't want to be, I don't want M&M's to, to push any kind of message. I don't give a shit. It was so stupid what they did. And what if the sales were down and they're like, oh, no, 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 blame Tucker Carlson. Blame misogyny. Blame and now misogyny. their answer to this is to get rid of the spokes candies entirely or pause them. They'll just wait until it blows over and then they'll bring it back and they'll probably be like either back to their old selves or they'll do some other stupid changes. But they're, yeah, they're using this as a scapegoat to blame misogyny. So does Maya Rudolph have nuts inside? <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, so TMZ melting down spokes candies over woke up where Maya Rudolph takes How charge. How does Maya Rudolph make any sense? I don't understand. I don't know. blaming Tucker Carlson. Yeah, Eminem's. Oh my God, I was kidding. It was Tucker Carlson. Uh, Eminem <laughs> jumped on the culture war over its green spokesperson. Tucker Carlson played right into the candy's hands. Now they're getting rid of him completely. The hubbub over the green spokes candy, formerly Miss Green. Back in the day, she was her sexy piece of candy. Last year, they decided to recreate Miss Green and turn her more inclusive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're blaming Tucker Carlson. I got to tell you, though, there was a lot of women who were pissed. They a were. lot of women were mad. They liked her as she was. They liked the, the agency, they said. They liked her boots. They liked everything about her. And it was a lot of the people that were really pissed about it were women. It wasn't Tucker Carlson. It was women who were mad about it. <sighs> Why do we have to wear sneakers? That's yeah, stupid. Right? She looked. She went from being like uh, sexy and empowered to like a librarian. Yes, and be, women, mostly women, were pissed. Yeah, had nothing to do with Tucker Carlson. Oh God! Lord. What the fuck? Little slut this candy. This is how we. This is all this, slut this, candy. This is blaming. This is this is uh, slut shaming women. <laughs> this is uh, blaming women. Yes. And then you know, then trying to yell that's misogyny by blaming it on Tucker Carlson, but it was mostly women who didn't want the change. They put her in tennis shoes, toned down her eyelashes, and took away references to gender. So she was gender neutral in tennis shoes. Oh I God. feel like this yellow m m right here. Anytime you read the news, you're like, where the dirt the dirt the I got m ms up my ass. What the hell? Wait. Anyway, um, <laughs> company also, he's got the same look on his face. <laughs> Everybody looks at this and they're like, what? Oh, uh, company also changed up the orange M&M to actually make it look even more anxious. Embracing his true self. Should be the red, again. like, am I going to get canceled and blamed for cancer Here, again or what? They're doing it again. Tom Carl said he, he, he said he added he was no longer attracted to M&Ms. Again, TMZ. Does he want M&M's up his ass? Is I, that what the no, deal is? It was mostly women who were pissed about it. It was mostly women. So now you're basically stepping over women again because you're mad and trying to tie it to Tucker Carlson. I mean, I can't believe that's what your go-to is. Uh, so now the company says it's 86ing the spokes candies altogether. Maya Rudolph will now do the honors of representing the delicious chocolates. Uh, if this tastes like M&M's, Mars doing some brilliant marketing, making lemonade out of Carlson's lemon. That's it was not it Tucker Carlson's. You're basically claiming, what you're claiming is because Tucker Carlson didn't talk about And this was like a year ago, apparently, because if it was about the green M&M, they changed that a while back. You're trying to blame it on, put it all on Tucker Carlson's rant about it that long ago. They've made several changes since. People did not like it. They called it out, said it was stupid. The green M&M was mostly women who were mad. I mean, a lot of people were mad, but women especially were upset about it. 
And, you know, basically it's like you're slut shaming and stuff like that. Yeah. And now you're trying to say it's all because of Tucker, cause Tucker Carlson on Fox News. Yes. It's the entire downfall of, of M&M's. I'm like, you, you, if you think Tucker Carlson, what, and how can Tucker Carlson have no power and all the power at the same time? It's like Schrodinger's Carlson. Yeah, it's, it's it, whatever. Yeah, this, it's all leading I up. I want my share of credit, thank you. Yeah, that's right. Geeky, geeky made him do it. Uh, Maya confirms it's all leading up to a Super Bowl ad. Uh, too bad, Rolling Stone, no more headlines like let the green Eminem be a nasty little slut. It was oh written my. by a woman. It was written by a woman. Because <sighs> women were mad. But no, no, you keep, women aren't even allowed to have the right to be angry. Somehow it's a man's fault. Seth Rogen is going to make an Eminem's movie. That's what they're going to announce. <laughs> it's gonna be nut party. There you go. No, that's, that's busted that's, nut with M and No, no, that's that's not fair. That's she's gonna a, be a nasty that's, little that's, slut. That's her sexist. Go -go, her that's go -go misogynist. Boots. Everybody's wearing go-go boots now. Everybody's just getting it on. I just I can't even. I, at, the, at the end of the day, TMZ makes it all about Tucker Carlson. When there were a lot of people who were mad, a lot of women who were angry, and they boil it down to men on Fox News mad. I'm like. Really? <laughs> so here's here's the official here's the official announcement courtesy of comicbook.com. A message from M&M's. America, let's talk. In the last year, we've made some changes to our beloved spokes candies. We weren't sure if anyone would eat them. <laughs> and we definitely didn't think it would break the internet. Yeah, they did. But we get it. Even a candy shoes can be polarizing, which was the last thing M&M's wanted since we're all about bringing people together. Therefore, we have decided to take an indefinite pause from the spokes candies. In their place, we're proud to introduce spokesperson, a spokesperson America can agree on, the beloved Maya Rudolph. We're yeah. confident Ms. Rudolph will champion the power of fun to create a world where everyone feels they belong. This is intentional because they know the backlash for the candies is gonna be worse. And people are gonna be like, you bring the characters back. Yeah. And then they're gonna be like, oh, we heard you, America. You love us, we'll bring the candy. You buy so many M and M's, we'll bring the characters back. Yeah, that's exactly like. Oh, which ones you want? Vote for your favorite. Remember when you had to vote for your favorite color? I just of M and M. You're not allowed to do it now. That's istophobic. Yeah. So. So that's uh, insulting to another color. But yeah, they're gonna do a Super Bowl ad, so they'll probably like bring them all back or something. I just, I can't. Everybody's gonna be sexy, sexy it, M and M's. I'm seriously like sitting here, like wanting to get up and take my chair and just fling it, but I'm like, because I'm so like, this is so stupid, it hurts. That, that's basically it. And is this the Gabrielle? She's still there? Because I, 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 I would have fired her. I would have been like, what did you do? So we're going to blame it on something that happened like last year. And they've made so many changes since people thought were stupid. I just, I can't. Like, way to throw women under the bus. All right. Are Good we job. We're going to wrap this up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.